Hello, Helen again here um, with another of our videos looking at little techniques to do with embroidery. What I hear you ask is a spider's web without a spider. Now, a little spider in your spider's web, even if you are something of an arachnophobe, will certainly bring your picture to life and it will give uh, a conversation point to people looking at it. So I'm just going to show you how to work a very simple little spider like this fellow here. And I'm going to work him a little bit further down the web. And to begin with, all we're going to do is work two or three little straight stitches across a convenient point on the spider's web that you've already created. Now I'm working in a fine metallic thread here. It happens to be a Krynic thread, which I think are some of the best to be used as passing. In other words, to be stitched right through your fabric. And so there we have just a little blob, which we're going to use as the body of the spider. Spiders have eight legs, as you know, and those legs have joints in them. So we're going to need to use two stitches for each leg. Nothing here but our very simple one simple stitch. Everything I'm doing is just in straight stitch. One little leg is created by two little stitches. To give a lovely 3D effect you want to overlap some of those stitches. So perhaps our next little leg might come underneath the first and just overlap it a little bit like that. Now, if you want your spider to look as if he's going uphill, in this case he's hurtling up towards his friend, we want to lift a leg up. So a couple of little stitches created so that he's just waving as his friend up there and perhaps another little stitch in the same ilk but this time crossing over the first one. So there he is with two legs very slightly raised and waving at his companion. So that's our first four legs. Now we need four more legs to balance it off. And this time we're not going to raise them up, this time we're going to have all four legs firmly planted on his nice web. So there's the first one and here comes the second. Now it's a very strange thing I've discovered over 35 years of stitching that if you work a spider in black people say Ugh. if you work it in gold or silver they say oh. <laughs> so here's a dear little gold spider. His back legs here go all higgledy-piggledy over the top of each other which is very sort of spider-esque. There's his very jointed one there and the last one of all well let's make it look as if he's kind of clambering off that last bit of spider's web down there. So nothing but straight stitches little blob at the centre, some jointed stitches and we create a second little spider. So I hope you found that useful. Another little thing to slip in amongst your other designs that we've been looking at and do enjoy all my other videos which are up online. Enjoy my e-patterns produced with Vive Books and also my e-book One Simple Stitch. This is Helen signing off for now. Bye.